Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome along everyone. How are we all doing tonight? Happy Wednesday and happy uh, Western Australia multiplayer server. Hope you are all doing well. Uh, nice to see you. Carspot, how are you doing? Good to have you here. Hello from Australia. Welcome, welcome, welcome from New Zealand. James, good to have you here. Mr. Stay Drunk, nice to see you as always. Bond Demand is in here with me. He's in the server. It's only me and him at the moment. It's a little bit lonely. Just the two of us, but uh, that's all right. We've got things to do. We'll get into it. Get started, and we're getting close to just about having ticked everything off. In fact, uh, we've got sword beans to harvest, but they're not really anywhere that's needed left for our target. But we'll take it. We'll do it. Get them all knocked up. Hey, Yoren, how you doing, mate? Good day to you. Have fun in the stream. I'm sure we will. I am sure we will. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Good to see you as well. Yeah, good evening. I hope you guys are all doing well. We are back, and uh, well, really. We have a look in here, we've only got one one target to tick off and that's our cotton. 3.7 million litres, so uh, 6.3 million still to go. Everything else though, look at that, everything else is done. Well, everything that we're aiming to do is done, including, you can see our dried corn there, but I think if we go and have a look in the silo, we've got 10 million litres of uh, corn in there as well. So we're pretty much, pretty much there, there I sat, which is pretty exciting. Um, a lots and lots of cotton to harvest too. Well, I was hoping, I was hoping that this field down here, which is cotton field 13, when it reloads, um, was going to be ready to go. But if we just have a look at our crops, field 3, field 6, field 13 and 18. So there's going to be more than enough fields there to get our cotton done. It's just unfortunately they're not all ready to go yet. 3 and 13 are probably the closest, and then 6 and 18 behind that. But We'll be able to get into there. But for now, we're just going to jump into a combine and get started on some harvesting. Keep on going there. Is the plan? Get this field finished. Don't even know. I don't think there's been anything done about planting anything in any other fields either. Now, I do know um, we've actually got some auto drive set up and running at the moment too. You can see the grain cart looks like coming over the other side there as well. That's uh, uh, Bond Demand. He is doing that. And uh, well, we are down here. Now, why? Why can I turn that on and off? Oh, I know why, because I've got my voice AI, which has taken all my keybinds again. Uh, let's have a look. Such a good, fun little app, but for whatever reason, whenever I delete the keybinds, it re resets them, which is damn annoying. So, here we go, we can turn that on now. Turn that there. Uh, let's see if we can load a course up. We are in. We're in field 7 and we're heading east-west, so I wonder if that's going to work. Uh, 7 east-west, let's load that up and see how that looks. Turn our lines on. Set our width properly. Perfect. And that system works. I'll turn that on. Oh, okay. System doesn't work. Ah, it's not quite right. Okay, that's alright. We'll just make do. We'll create our own. <laughs> I thought it was going to work perfectly. That's right. We'll just set another one up. There might be one saved somewhere else, but we'll go and have a look at that in a sec. But for now, let's just do that. And turn that on. There we go. So it'll be interesting actually to see if uh, see how the auto drive goes because we do have that set up and running. So we could actually get the, both the couple of combines running and use some auto drive. Anyhow, here we go. Back to you and Chad. Salah, hello, how you doing? Good to see you. Southern Gaming, what's up, mate? Good to have you here. Welcome in. Busy with work. Hopefully, we'll be joined next week in the second half of the stream. Nice, Yaron. That'd be cool if you can. Always nice to have you on here. Uh, the car spot, where can I grab the map from? Uh, Camille Agro 1997 on Facebook I think is the um, is where it's been shared the most. He was responsible for making it for 19 I think uh, the conversion for 22 has been done via him as well or at least he's shared the source of it. So go and check that out see if you can find it. Hey Bruce how you doing good morning. 
can you know what type of PC I have? You can indeed. So I have a i7 uh, 10700 processor. It's running an RTX 3070. Got 32 gig of RAM, which I've just upgraded. Um, what else do you need to know? One gig SSD drive. I think that's about the main things. It's the key parts anyhow. But it's doing well. It's actually, yeah, it works really well. Really impressed with it. Actually upgrading the um, RAM, which I only did a couple of weeks ago, has made a big benefit. Big, big difference. Because it went from 16 gig of um, 2800 megahertz to 32 gig of 3200 megahertz. Or something like that. Hey, Mr. Sim Gamer, how you doing? Bendicat, how are you? Nice to see you. Hey, James, how you doing? No need to apologise, but good to have you here. So, let's see what happens. I'm going to crank this open and see if we can get a green card to catch us. It's probably not going to like it because uh, we're going to get to the end of the row. That's right, we can turn around and come back down that one. Uh... Marius, good day to you, welcome. George, nearly 200 hours in the combine, I know, right? It's uh, ridiculous. In fact, we had this conversation oh, probably about six weeks ago to see what our most used piece of equipment was. And I think one of the tractors had, there you go. Oh, that's a weight. We, it took us a while to figure out what the Vent 3300 was. It was a weight, but we've got a 1050 with 200 hours. We've got another John Deere with 200 class so there's three bits of equipment over the 200 and then this is 194 is the next next highest the header was only got 125 hours on it it's new it's a brand new header you're welcome Salah no problem well that's not bad actually we almost got the full length of that pass without having to uh, unload but we're just gonna get to 100% full as we get here. So we'll wait for this uh, grain cart to catch us up in just a sec. So I was just going to have a look where we are. So you can see we've got a good chunk of the field to do still. Got uh, Bovine's peace sign that we forced him to make last week when we were in there harvesting the cotton. And the remnants of my cultivating work that we did while we were uh, doing the quiz the other day. <laughs> So we've got to wee way through that, but still a bit more to do. Your solo playthrough on hard mode, your older tractor has 68 hours. That's an impressive effort. A very impressive effort. Hello Eric, how are you? Harvest is going, going well so far. I'm only sort of just getting into it, but so far so good. Using some auto drives, there's only a couple of us on at the moment. Uh, so we'll just use some auto drive for grain carts and we'll try and get it knocked out. It's not actually critical, I was just saying before. We've got our soybeans up to the 10 million litres, so we just need some cotton to be mature and ready to harvest and uh, we'd get a long way through finishing everything off, which would be pretty cool. Move on to a new challenge. You might upset your wife having the sound coming through the speakers tonight. Well, James's wife, if you can hear me, please a Accept my humble apologies for James having me blaring through the speakers. He'll make it up to you, I'm sure. What do you reckon, chat? How, do, how does James have to make it up to his wife? We could. Oh, okay. You're off. See you later. Come on, auto drive. You can do it. There we go. She's none the wiser. <laughs> Alright, cross is averted then. So if you're wondering why there's weeds in the field, it's because I skipped time through to the beginning of June. I was hoping we might have had some uh, some cotton ready to harvest rather than what, spending time here doing this, but unfortunately that was not to be.
Let's see how I did on setting that GPS course up. Not too bad. Not too bad. Cook for her. <laughs> Got to do everything to make it up to her. You, re you reckon, car spot? <laughs> no need to resort to murder. <laughs> Now I'm already, I've already finished my whiskey. I was going through the cupboard the other day and I've got, just had three or four different bottles with literally half a dram in each one. So we're slowly, slowly finishing a few off. And time to get some more. My birthday in a month's time so I've been telling Mrs. Argsy she needs to tell everyone to buy me a bottle of whiskey for my birthday. We can't have whiskey Wednesdays without whiskey. So we'll see what happens. See what happens. I was excited to read the uh, update on FarmCon today, talking about having Deutz Fire equipment there that people will be able to drive. Interactive bale challenge, bale stacking. I'm going to have to uh, practice my bale stacking and get it refined because there could be a chance to really lay down a challenge for other people there. We can get down to our 1 minute 20, that'd be pretty cool. How are you Mr Sim Gamer? Whiskey Wednesdays, <laughs> honestly. I mean any day is a good day for whiskey, but Whiskey Wednesdays just has a good sound to it. I can highly recommend it. instigating it in the house. What's happening with this grain cart? He's taking his time to catch up going to end up full. I was hoping they were going to catch us and we were going to be able to unload on the move, but it doesn't look like we're going to. Damn, just remember what you forgot to buy when you went shopping earlier, Grant. Oh, it's nice of to think of me, but you don't have to send a bottle over. It's fine. Any day is good for whiskey. Absolutely. How can you want to get a cider out of the fridge, George? Just do it. Not sure what time of the day it is where you are, George, but just do it anyhow. Hey, Nico, how you doing? Good morning to you, welcome. 10am 10 10 too early? Not at all. Oh, you're in New Zealand, George. Nice. Oh, what is going on? What are you doing, Grand Cut? Come on. It's 9 pm somewhere. Absolutely, James. Is that your excuse at 8 o'clock in New Zealand? Why, why, why would you want an empty, empty whiskey bottle? It's a very good point. Very good question. I'm doing well as well, Nico. Thank you very much. I'm doing very well. I booked some flights today from London to Edinburgh. So, is it because I start moving? It's when I start moving, isn't it? Use it as a gentle reminder to buy more whiskey. I might have to resort to buying myself some. Now question for you guys and girls. Who else has this screen tearing issue like I have? I know FSG's had it and he said he changed one of the uh, graphic settings but I'm not sure which one but every now and then you just get this real tall tear effect on the back of equipment. I had it before, I noticed it before on the header. It looked like the header was just a, a blur. Can't figure out what's causing it. Ah, that was silly. It's 110 outside. That's not that great for whiskey. True. 
through that. Don't like to unload. Yeah, but then I'm looking over the other side there, and Bondaman's got that one running perfectly next to him, so. Don't know what the deal is. Anyhow. I've got the drunk one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh. Uh, is he in the UK? I am going to be in the UK for about three days. Not quite sure when we're leaving yet because we're waiting for uh, waiting for Street. But there you go. You can see the screen tearing there on the header. As soon as you move, it sort of gets rid of it. You found that out the week, last week or the week before. As soon as you move, it refreshes it, but. Um, I don't know what it is. Yep, we're hoping, we're hoping to, uh, well, well CTFSG, we should try and find a, a spot, a pub or something in Edinburgh where we can park up for an afternoon and anyone who's around, anyone who's in that part of the UK would be welcome to come and join us. I know there's a few people who have already indicated they'd like to do that. So we'll see if we can make that happen. I have to resort to FSG's judgment on a good spot to it's a good spot to meet, but it's certainly something we could look at doing. Like I said, I've only got I think we get to Edinburgh at like ooh, what have we got? About eight thirty in the evening on a Monday night, and at this stage we're still not sure how we're getting to Munich, but we were talking about driving to Manchester and flying out of there. So I'll just have to I'm leaving that in FSG's hands, so Even with VSync. Yeah, see, I always turn VSync off, but I'm. Bendercat, no, I don't think I have got any graphics mods. Not on this server, at least. Um, and it's it happens on different game saves as well. It's sort of. It's not consistent just on one server or anything like that, or one game save, so. Crank card drivers are already well into the whiskies. They are, but look, we've got them working now, so that's good. Happy days. Hopefully we can get them full off this little bit. I'm not sure if we're going to. I think we've got the one that's sitting at 81% full at the moment. All right, he's had enough. But yes, that's the one we're driving links to because they are not filling up anymore. Hey, Ghetto Pirate, how you doing? Good morning. Hope it's uh, a nice one in the UK. Been getting cold and wet here. And we had hail the other day in the office, and it there was enough hail. It, was, it wasn't big; it was just the size of a pea, maybe a little bit bigger than a pea. Um, but it was enough to block the gutters up, spouting, and fill those up. And then we had water overflowing everywhere. Some of it came back into the office, which wasn't ideal. But uh, it accumulated in a garden, and there was still hail sitting there 24 hours later, which I haven't seen before. Might have to catch a flight up here in Buckinghamshire close line, that'd be cool. Of course, don't go too far out of your way in expense or anything like that just to meet a couple of old geezers. What graphics card? I've got a RTX 3070 on demand, so nothing, uh, nothing too tiny. Looked up to drive to Launingen, but six hours drive just to meet up is a bit too long. You were also heading off overseas. You're heading off on a trip to Spain or something too, weren't you, Yarn? If I recall correctly, it's as miserable as ever, you know. <laughs> I tell you what, when it gets to the middle of June and it's starting to get really cold and miserable, a couple of weeks in the northern hemisphere is going to look quite appealing to me. Alright, let's see if we can get that grain cart full. It's 93 at the moment. Let's see if we'll get him to come to us. Stop to puke, he'll be fine. 
too much whiskey you reckon hello from the studio back to you Yoss how are you our inaugural quiz champion scores were reviewed there was no cheating and Eos came out on top numero uno I don't know if 32 out of 50 is really worth celebrating, is it? It was a lot of fun, I enjoyed doing that. Start dropping on the 20th, we just don't have... Yeah, fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Hello Eric, how are you? Traveller's Tale series is amazing, keep up the great work mate. Thank you very much Eric, thank you. Appreciate everyone being patient with my uh, timing between episodes. I like to consider it being suspenseful but it's uh, more down to the time commitment I have to throw at them. I'm trying to fit other things in. I was rattling off tonight so we had football training, on. so my wife's away all week this week so I'm solo dad which is fine get by on that and it's easy but we had football training Monday swimming lessons Tuesday football training Wednesday basketball Thursday futsal training Friday and then we've got football games on Saturday and then we go to a football tournament in, in Wellington which is a just under a two hour drive away on Sunday for the day and then we're back into the cycle of Monday football training Tuesday swimming Wednesday football Thursday basketball Friday futsal Saturday football so I think we don't have, <laughs> we've got to look forward to uh, Sunday a week and a half away before we get some time off or a bit of a break. It's full on, full on. Try an English one too, you like down under would freeze. <laughs> See that's something else we've talked about Ghetto is I still struggle to understand why so much of the world's population lives in these places which get snow and freezing cold weather in the winter. And you know the whole economy and everything just shuts down I mean I suppose it's a good time to go for a holiday but just one of those things eh we're very fortunate to have a temperate climate we can... I mean it's been it's, it's been in the low teens the last week or so and I've been putting my seat warmer on in my car when I've been driving to work and the steering wheel warmer Alright, let's get full. Get this green cart down here. 27,400 is the target. 7 litres more. There it is. Still doesn't think it's full though. There it is. See that screen tearing there? Interesting. Oh, I need to figure it out. You're up for a catch up when you come to the UK. Nice, Mark. Yeah, that'd be cool, man. Be cool. Just wish I had more time. Actually, you know what? I'm really, I'm not disappointed about because obviously it's going to be an amazing trip. But if I'd known that uh, DJ and Farmer Cop and that were going to spend some time in the UK afterwards, I would have tried to coordinate a little bit more with their timing and uh, tried to hang out with them a little bit more. Going to Diddley Squat Farm sounds like a bit of fun. Coldest you've been in yet was minus eight. That was Aussie of all places. Is that right, James? I think one well, of the coldest I've had. We've had some minus three, minus four mornings here. They don't last very long. Editing those episodes must be very long. It's it, it yeah, it is. Um, I kind of record them in pieces, Eric. So I'll probably sit down and I'll record for maybe an hour. And it's lots of uh, easy dev and jumping around and using things to move vehicles to be in the right spot or set things up. And the actual recording time's not long, but then it's the editing can take a while and cutting all the, especially the speaking pieces. 
and uh the worst part is changing changing characters so if i want to capture some of one of the different characters you've got to sort of change the costume change what they're wearing remember what they're meant to be wearing to make them look consistent and then i've got to re-record their audio through the voice ai program i use but it's fun oh don't why do you want to turn that way every time because Europe is the world's OG jet capital <laughs> I mean you're not wrong you're not wrong ghetto congrats on the quiz you also didn't get me any questions right <laughs> harsh I mean true but harsh hey you farming how you doing mate to see do my best not to drive in the crop I mean it's auto driver well, I've got an excuse tonight can't blame other players there's only the two of us on the server tonight it's a little bit lonely a little bit quiet that's all right I think as we're getting nearer the end of the target um there's a lot of a lot of downtime and waiting for the different crops to be ready like we've got we've got four different cotton fields three six thirteen and eight all at different stages of growth in fact i think three and thirteen are the same six is one behind and eighteen is two behind so there's actually from when that gets ready which will be in july so that's another five calendar days effectively if we just let the server run and then it's another 10 calendar days until what field six so it's another 15 days until field 18 would technically be ready so there might be some sleeping and time skipping to accelerate that All four updates testing completed. Nice, Yoss. We well, might see them on the mod hub tonight then, eh? Or today. Mrs. Argzy don't want to do a voice. Mrs. Argzy's Amy, Eric. Mrs. Argzy is Amy. She picked the name and everything. Picked her own costume. You won the guessing game. Uh, the little squat is close to you Mrs Sim but you haven't been yet we're only about um, we're only about halfway through watching the latest series actually we were in hysterics on the weekend though was, um, we watched the one where they what was the main thing that happened oh they built the um, oh the badges dealing with the badges and what else was there? They were heading heading off to the uh, farming awards. It was a bit of a laugh. Entertaining, really. Sorry, we wrote that wrong. You didn't get many questions right. Did you not, Yoren? Did you do it? Have to have a look now. Uh, where's the quiz results? Legion did a wonderful spreadsheet on everything. Finally, he did a summary and everything. It's all colour coded and who did what and everything. It's very cool. Very cool. <laughs> Delete squat farms being made by Fisius22 by Effies Landscaping. Here it is. Ghetto, you know, I saw that. Uh, what dates farming? What, sorry, dates regarding what? Oh, when I'll be in the UK. Uh, 26th of June till about the th 29th or 30th. Depends when Mr. FSG boxes flights to go to Germany. How are you, mate? Good day to you, my friend. How is the, uh, how's the cold going? Are you shaking it yet or is it still hanging around and bugging you? Hey Bovine, hey you doing, mate? Good to see you as well. GKW, hello. Feel free to lurk all you like. Ah, oh, for yourself after reviewing. Got you, Yoren. Am I sure it wasn't snow? 
what lingering around in the um no it was definitely definitely just hail that we had farming hey kevin how you doing i am well thank you nice to have you here feeling feeling good still feeling like you've been punched in the head repeatedly <laughs> doesn't sound like much fun i was just saying before fsg i booked our flights to edinburgh today so we've booked that 6:45 flight gets into edinburgh about it was an hour and a quarter so i must get in at eight o'clock hour 28 10 past eight in the evening so they're all booked and locked in so now we just have to hope that the four and a half hours i've left between arriving in london and departing again is uh is gonna be enough You wish you could lower the seat in FS22 for, for your view height. Um, I thought there was a mod that allowed you to change player height and cab and things like that. For P, that'd be a PC only one, but I've had a feeling there was, but I can't remember exactly. Doing good, Kevin. Nice to hear it. Nice to hear it. Slowly making progress. That's good too. Four more months to go to be a member for a year. Nice, James. Well, thank you very much for being a member for eight months so far. Very, very much appreciated. That's right, you went home during the quiz. You took Mini Me headbanging in Antwerp. I saw the photo. That looked pretty cool. Looked like you had a good time. As did you and Mrs. Hoffman, by the looks of things, too. You should have the whiskey ready. Very good. Tell you what, after travelling for however many hours it'll have been, I'll uh, I'll be needing one. Might even pick myself up a bottle duty free coming through. Where do you get the 16x Western Aussie map, Kevin? Uh, Camille Agro Farm 1997 or something like that on Facebook. I can't remember exactly the the name, but it's something like that. You'd have to uh, search for it, but it'll come up. In fact, I think I might have even shared it back because this came out in late December, early January. I might have shared it on Facebook, shared a link to it, but I can't be certain. You've lost your badge thingy. Ah, oh, your, gif your gifted membership must have expired farming. I think you had a gifted one, didn't you? Hey, Steel Horse, how you doing? Room for another? Oh, of course we do. Absolutely. Jump on in. We're running auto drive on the uh, grain carts at the moment, so. But there's plenty of crops still to harvest, so. Yeah, feel free to join. You all had an awesome time, he really liked it. You know, the worst part about it is he's going to start bugging you to go to more concerts now. But it was pretty cool to you, because did you say something about it being his favourite band and he knew all the, all the um, names and everything like that? I think that's pretty cool. You have to try and uh, get him a meet and greet experience or something like that. Realistic player size, does that sound right for changing the height? Something like that. I thought the realistic player size might have been for outside, but... Um, you know, I've I'd, I'd, I'd never really grasped how big some of the equipment is compared to others, but until I was doing my um, video the other day on UMRV, and they... um. Oh, when, when the cop pulled me over and he's standing outside the truck, uh, the height difference was ridiculous. Hey, Chinook, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Yeah, it worked tonight, mate. All good, all good. You went to see, say, is it Sabaton? Sabaton, Sabaton. I have to have a look and look them up on Spotify. Have a listen. We've, um, we've got a Spotify playlist we have at work. And we're always always adding different artists and um one of my employees came in the other day and added a siberian heavy metal band on it which was uh interesting i 
Sunday he was already saying he wanted to go again. <laughs> well. At least you've got him hooked into something that you guys are passionate and interested about too. You're not getting dragged off, off to do something that's got absolutely no interest in it. Like riding horses, eh, FSG? You took your kids to the Chili's a couple of years ago, they loved it. Nice. It'd be pretty cool. You tried to contact the band, but sadly not this time, but I'm sure at some point we can arrange it. Yeah, nice. That would, yeah, that would have been cool. What an experience. When I was younger, my girlfriend at the time won a meet and greet for Incubus. So we got the chance to go and hang out with them backstage before a gig. Which is kind of cool. Here comes Steel Horse. Hope the wireless is on that playlist. No, it's actually not your bovine. I'll fix that now, eh? If anyone hasn't listened to it, go check out Bovine's band, The Wireless. They're, they're my music. Um, the intro music and outro music on The Traveller's Tales. Bovine's work. Let's so go, go have a listen to that. I will remember to do that though. Sabaton is a Swedish heavy metal band that makes songs about the First and Second World War, most of Europe based. Interesting. It's an interesting, uh, interesting theme. So, uh, do they perform in English though? Every time I'm in this field, it reminds me of um, when I did the 19 series. This is the one, the first field I, in fact, it was the only field I think we did the swathing in. Swath the canola. And I think, did we bale the canola? I certainly remember running a whole lot of bales and bale collectors in this field too. Fond memories. Fond memories. What date do you leave again? Sunday the 25th. We fly out of Auckland, Chinook. Cheap hobbies. The YouTube channel is interesting as well. Hmm. I'll take a look. Sabaton. You have to link that in Discord so I remember to look. Yarn. I think you did with the photo, didn't you? Say who it was you were going to go see. Go back and look at that. Love Incubus. Wish you were here. Is always on a playlist. So, um, Stella was our. Where do we have that? It was one of our wedding songs. The acoustic version of Stella. This was Coldplay. Swedish metal can get a bit out there. Mostly in English, one album about Swedish history is in both English. Yeah, that's cool. I'll have to try it. So you worked as a groom and hot walker. I would do everything for a horse, but never ride them when your butt was not made for a saddle. What's a hot, what does a hot rider do? A hot walker, sorry. So I've heard that term regarding horses, horses before. So it's going to take you a while to catch up farming, but I'm assuming you're watching this a bit delayed if you're now just talking about badges. So you're going to hear that in about 20 minutes and go, why is he only just ask, is it commenting about badges? I said that ages ago. So it was an interesting thing, actually. And you guys can probably tell more about the badges. Like, are they, so what's the deal? Are, the, are badges protected in the UK? Are they, because they're not, are they a native animal? Are they endemic to the United Kingdom? Or what's the history behind badges? Because we have... Well, we've got possums here, and this is the funny thing as well. We possums here and there were introduced, and they're a pest, and they're our main risk of TB 
than New Zealand. Um, but of course in Australia possums are protected. So you come over here and you can basically do as you please with them. Um, but in Aussie you can't. After the race you walk them to cool them down. Gotcha, gotcha. But just seems, it, I think Clarkson put it put it succinctly that this animal that you can't do anything to can potentially ruin an industry. Anyhow. Joys of it all. Right, how are we doing? Chopping it out. So we'll go up, I think we'll finish this pass and we'll go and knock out those little bits and that'll get us back down here and we'll start working across. Got someone in the truck, someone in the combine and me running here. Happy days. So I think we started saying before, excited about uh, maybe having the chance to drive some proper Deutz farm equipment. When we're in uh, at the Deutz Fire Arena, that'll be pretty cool. A good looking person walking a horse. Cheers for popping in, Chunk. Appreciate it, mate. Have a good rest of your uh, evening at work. I'm assuming you're going through to what, four in the morning? Whatever it is, have fun, mate, and we'll catch you again soon. It's got the potential to be loads of fun, it does, I agree. I agree. I remember watching, it was at a, two years ago they did the real life bale stacking challenge with the um, Farm Sim League guys. They had a tally handler and a tractor and they had to load some bales on a trailer and get it to a barn or something like that, that was pretty cool. but over here yeah, cruise control sit down Rolo anyone know why seven years into a map my friend relogged and the ground is black I then relog and the ground is also black for you Oof. Are well, you going through till six in the morning, Chinook? Um, can't say I've heard that one, Rollo. That's uh, that sounds like a special case. Maybe try. Are you, is it a dedicated server? And try reloading the server, maybe. Delete shader caches, that's a good good call as well, FSG. Delete the shader cache. Which, for anyone looking at it, is under, well for me, on Steam, it is under My Documents, My Games, FS22, and there's a folder there called Shader Cache, and you can basically just delete everything out of that. This, well, I've got three files of mine, but I'm just going to delete them all out. Uh, yeah, Bovine said it, and I think, I think, uh, Bondman, yeah, you said it as well, turn off then on the GPS still. Should get it working. Jake, anyone know how to download Hunter Indiana? Hunter Indiana is through, um, Large H mapping. He's got an HDO page, you'll find his, and this map is through Camille Agro Farm 1997 on Facebook. Best place to find both of those. Hey Nismo, what's up mate? How you doing? What neck of the world are you in today? You home or are you uh, out and about? Hey David, how you doing mate? Good to see you. 
precision farming, yeah, so the precision farming data can go black, can't it? But I th um, well, not like that, but if you look through pH levels, so you see outdated data, it goes black, but... Farming, thank you very much for that £4.99 super sticker. The laughing, dancing pear. Love it. Thanks for the Traveller series, your patience must be tested. Thanks, mate. It's um it's a challenge to put together, but it's it's a fun step away from doing this kind of stuff, but um it does take some time. Just need to get into a bit more of a rhythm and routine. It's actually funny, like, what are we? We're Wednesday night tonight, so a little bit of an insight into my kind of routines. So Sunday night we record Hunter and Deanna, which is great because then it gives me a video sort of sorted for later in the week. I can get it edited and done and it's out of the way. Um, and then normally Monday night's recording something else. So this week it was finishing off the Traveller's Tale, getting that all edited and uploaded. Then Tuesday night I always play games with some mates. Wednesday night's a stream, so suddenly I've got to the point where I've got nothing left. I'm not organised enough. So then Thursday, Friday, Saturday I kind of almost catch up. I... Recording videos and editing and things like that, so. And I find if I get to Saturday to try and get the Traveller's Tale done I'm kind of stuffed because then I don't have time on Sunday it's a good one though because I can edit it during this one I can edit it during the day obviously can't record at night I'd record during the day is a bit harder but editing during the day is fine right, let's close that down so we can get one of these grain carts to unload us I managed to get all three grain carts over the side of the map. That's impressive. Oh, that's that's one one. I don't have um. I don't have this turned on. I would have seen then. Impressive but not helpful still, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go give steel an unload, Bondman, don't worry about me. Are oh, you down at Christchurch? No, it's my cold down that way. They're forecasting snow in the next couple of days down south, aren't they? Not bad, thanks Arxy. Nice to hear it, David. Nice to hear it. Been you for the last two years, FSG. Been me for the last two years too. Always playing catch up. I tried to write myself a list tonight, things I want to do. So we see how that goes. So far behind on chat, you have no doubt what that means. No idea even. I still think farming that your uh, your video is delayed. Surely it must be delayed. Real life farming video out tonight. Then nothing. Ooh, I'm gonna stop that. Then nothing. No energy or focus to record anything this week. Look, mate. We've said it. And you and I have chatted about it so many times, and uh, you know everyone else will say the same thing. End of the, end of the day, what we're doing is a hobby, isn't it? And we've you know both been fortunate enough, and, and you more so than me as well, to make it a very successful hobby and um, get the benefits of it. But at the end of the day, you're still doing a full time job. You've got a family. You are you need to just take some time for yourself. If you don't have any content, people aren't just going to leave you. I'll be back. They will be back, so I think take as much time as you need, mate. Everyone will understand. 
and I need you in, uh, I need you in peak shape when I'm over. I, I don't, I don't want you being sick. So if you can just focus on getting yourself. I said, didn't I say that the other night though? You just get yourself right, and I'll, uh, I'll fill your void. In fact, if you want to, you know, just share my channel and content on yours, that'll be fine too. Do you know what's funny? Actually, speaking of that, just get better. Exactly, Mark. Exactly. Um, you were 20 minutes behind farming. <laughs> I thought you must have been. Um, so, I did the first logging leak highlight, right? Shared the same video with you. You uploaded it, right? Fine. You, FSG did the second logging leak highlights video. Uploaded it. Shared it with me. I uploaded it. Fine. Except he gets a copyright notification. I got nothing on the first one and I got nothing on the third one so I did the third highlights video for round three shared it with FSG he uploaded the identical video nothing like figure that one out what because your channel's bigger than me it must be can't be can't be you that's copying Just go and play there, mate. Just 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 go and play. Drive a tractor. Chuck on some auto drive. Get some course play gun. Like a small map. Go and play on one of the little European maps. It's actually quite they're, they're quite fun. Quite fun getting stuff done. really need to concentrate more farming you like oh so do I I can start again um health first for sure yeah uh hey pleasant view how you doing good to see you you really like the new map Mr. Hector came out with I've I had the Carpathian countryside or whatever isn't it I've had a bit of a look at it, it does look like an impressive map. What are you here for? Do you think I need diesel? I'll fill up, I'm good though. Enjoy the game rather than putting... Yeah. Go and play on one of your servers FSG. And jump on a server. I'll keep going. You fill up on the move. I'm full anyhow. Gonna recreate tonight's real life fit as an FS22 challenge. Got all the kit. Yeah, nice. That'll be cool. Practice bail stacking and tractor washing. <laughs> uh, I like the way you think, Steel. That's a cool idea doing the re. So I've I've been wanting to do the same thing actually. I was gonna try and recreate like um, Millennial Farmer's most viewed video, which was them getting. I was gonna do this back in FS19 actually. It was Jim getting the digger stuck? And I was trying to figure out ways to do that. And try and recreate it. And then I've also thought about doing like the a Welkers series or something like that. Seeing that I've got a map in FS22 and sort of play along as they plant, doing the planting and sort of stretch it out over five months until we do harvesting. But alas, time gets in the way and that hasn't happened. Maybe next season. Oh, waiting for court farms, you highly recommend Belly Spring. What a fantastic map. It looks good too, and I see Belly Spring is in for consult testing with Giants. So that'd be pretty cool if it can uh, end up on all platforms. Anyone know what Croc... No, uh, Croc and Farms. No, I don't, I don't know. I heard that it had disappeared, Mrs. Sum, but no idea why. 
Oh, how's my line going to be on this? Probably just enough off that it's going to annoy me. Oh no, we're right. Happy days. Yeah, I don't know. Don't, I haven't heard any news on why that might have disappeared. Maybe, if, maybe uh, Mr. Nard or DJ might pop in before the end of the stream. You can ask him. He might know. You just drive, yeah, drive with your auger open just about steel and they should catch up. Bail washing and tractor stacking. <laughs> we'll see how that, that'd be interesting to see how that one get, went. FSG series on Bally Spring was epic. It is, yeah, yeah. Nice little setup he had going there. Nice different pace as well. Yeah, Belly Spring coming to console is great news. Indeed it is. Field days next one next month, Nismo. I'll tell you what, you go and find the um Outback Trading Co. clothing place. And you go in there and find Mrs. Argsy. Well not my Miss it's it's uh, Mum Mama Argsy, not Mrs. Argsy. Mama Argsy's gonna be there. My um my auntie manages the outback trading and they always have a have a um shop up there. And mum and dad both go up normally and help. Good excuse to go to the field days. Mask plus is confusing though. Maze plus is confusing if you want it to be confusing. I think I, th I think Maze Plus is confusing if you overthink Maze Plus. I think that's my yeah, that's my take on it. it. Does take a little bit of getting your head around, but where it gets confusing is when you've got two feed mixes hooked up to the same truck and you're trying to figure out which one's set to which mix. That was that was confusing. Laura Farms has been busy planting corn and beans. If they have some nice stuff to farm with, yeah, they do. I haven't actually watched many of her videos, in fact I've hardly watched any videos lately. Oh, I spent a bit of time catching up on Millennial Farmer and watched a bit of Colt the Cornstar. I want to catch up on Larson Farms and Laura and a lot of other ones. Back to it, the badgers don't get run over on their own. <laughs> Alright, now you're up to date farming. Nice to have you here mate, thank you again for that super sticky you sent. Very much appreciated and we'll see you again soon. Recent Laura Farms video where they visited Sunnyside Dairy was pretty epic. Serious large scale dairy milking 5,000 head. That's a huge amount of cows. Serious number of cows. Make sure you get all the shots possible for your trip, Argsy, or you might catch some weird Scottish disease that keeps attacking FSG. I thought I might just take my shots while I'm there, Grant. Nothing a little bit of uh, refined Scottish barley won't help fix. You're off to Aussie shortly for work, James. Spending a bit of time in Sydney and Darwin. I already scoped out the first shop in Darwin. I'm going to buy you a new cowboy boots. Bad, nice. Nice. I think Maze Plus is confusing. Wait for Terror Life. I haven't even, haven't even sat down to contemplate that yet, Mark. But what I've heard, you're not wrong. Three, two, one, boom. Sounds too advanced for you, Eric. <laughs> she looks better than those guys. Come on, James. Well, it's not what we watch it for.
Come on, Bo. This is an FSG stream. You can go and hand it to him in his next live. It's about me. I could, do you want me to put the FSG hat on? I can pretend. You used your current pair for mixing. How do you accidentally use a pair of boots for mixing concrete? I'm intrigued how it's an accident. Shots of refined barley doesn't seem to be helping if you're though. Perhaps he's not having the correct dose. Grant, perhaps he needs to up his, uh, up his intake. <laughs> I'm assuming we're safe that Mrs. FSG is not watching Argsy at the moment. However, I will put that in my memory banks and that will come up when I'm staying at your place. Uh... Maze Plus got much easier when I loaded the help mod that you can bind to a key. Oh, interesting still. Didn't realise that was an option. Yes, Disturb Simulations has a great video on how Terror Life works. What it's about. Well, not how it works, but what it's about anyhow. Go and check that out. He streams when I'm at work. Don't get to chat with him live. Yeah, I know. It's inconsiderate, isn't it? Inconsiderate of him. He needs to split his streaming times so he can uh, do one for the southern hemisphere. Or at least the uh, the other side of the world. Uh, <laughs> you have to wear an Argsy hat now with your green, street, your hat, green screen, your hat disappears. Your green hat's with... You've got a black one, or is it just your logo will disappear, I suppose? See... So, 100, 100 IQ, I always say 100 IQ, 200 IQ play by having a orange logo. I was saying earlier actually FSG I went and, went and uh, picked out some hats today from an embroidery place, I've got those being ordered. So I'll be done and I still need to, I need to order those stickers and get them sent to you as well. What rugby team do I cheer for? Or well, other than the All Blacks of course Eric, um, Super Rugby Team or Super Rugby Pacific as it is now called. Uh, I'm a loyal Wellington Hurricanes fan. I grew up in the Wellington Hurricanes region and uh, I've lived there my whole life, so. Long suffering. I have better music. <laughs> Thank you, Bo. It helps I learned a lot about farming, the most important thing is that I don't want to do it. Oh, there you go, James. Educational. Has to be the canes, absolutely, James. You know it, you know it. Hey, Matthew Cook, what's up? Welcome along. Oh, I'll let you know when the hats are ready, you need to go on for Floyd. Yeah, for sure, mate. I'll keep that in mind. I'll order a couple of extra. Cheers Nismo, have a good one mate. Safe travels wherever you're off to tomorrow. Particularly if that uh, weather does get as bad as I'm uh, suggesting it could. Funny story, well it's not really that funny but I, I'm winding Mrs. Argsy up about it. So when she was up in Auckland in January was when the bad flooding Auckland had was um, and she got stuck up there overnight and had to sleep in the airport terminal. Well, she's back up there again this week and I've got another heavy severe rainfall not severe but heavy rainfall warnings for the area she's gone to so I've decided it's her fault and suggested the whole of Auckland can probably blame her for it spending a year in matter matter your chiefs all the way and all blacks of course nice Eric nice what were you doing in matter matter it's a nice part of the country actually, Matter Matter. I used to go up there for work a little bit for uh, about a year we were building... I was responsible for the new farmers building that was going up in there. 
be about probably 10 years ago now, a long time ago. Cheers, Bovine. Nice to see you, mate. Thanks for stopping in, hanging out. We'll catch you again soon. Hit the likes. Yeah, don't forget to uh, leave the thumbs up. Be much appreciated. When you get a camo hot hat, you'll, I'll get one. All right, James. I'll keep that in mind. Camo hats are hard to get. Don't do the rain dance, Nizma. I won't. I won't. Tried working out the E drive lane of the other day, but you couldn't work it out. You even watched Disturbs video, but it was none the riser. I haven't um I haven't tried using those ones either. There's a whole there's a host of stuff out there that I have never tried using. Ghetto. Um actually it reminds me of something I wanted to write down. While I think about it. Um yeah, like that, there's the um like proceed and and all of those ones is it whichever one does the tram tracks and all of that sort of stuff i've seen some cool photos some cool screenshots lately of people who've done the tram tracks which look pretty cool but not had the time to figure that out evening peter how are you doing good to see you hope you're keeping well you like the realism aspect of it. Yeah, fair enough too. Fair enough too. Good to hear. Should be trying to get over and working next to steel, shouldn't we? Kind of doing his own thing over that side of the field. G'day Paul, how are you? How's things been? Are you uh, still on the road to recovery? Hope you are feeling better than you were last time we chatted. You're on extra drugs, Peter, which is making you healthy again. <laughs> nice. Sausage sandwich time. Sounds good, Ghetto. Sounds good. Just cutting your logo into the crop, don't you worry. Okay? I'm not worried about you at all, Steel. And we've all done it from time to time. In fact, we've actually cut out the uh, the peace sign's gone. Oh, and I managed to bump my GPS as well. Better fix that, or I won't hear the end of it. Sausage sandwich. What sort of sausages? We're gonna have some good home kill sausages. Are you still in pain in your stomach, Paul? That's no good, mate. No good at all. Well, I hope they can get you on the mend. Get you feeling better again soon. Course play with uh, auto drive with us this time. So they'll stop in just a second. I actually like how auto drive now stops just before the end of a row. Quite clever. Home tonight, then back to hospital tomorrow. 
and I'll enjoy your time while you're at home. Please, you're uh, please you're able to coincide being at home with the live stream and able to tune in. Back for more tests. Well, oh, you're in the right. Well, I, ho I hope you're in the right place. <laughs> I wouldn't 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 suggest you are if you were in the New Zealand health system. But hopefully, the Australian ones a lot better. Seem to be uh, able to pay their nurses much better and suck all the good talent out of New Zealand at the moment. Which is a bit of a challenge, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Cheers, James. Thanks for. Tuning in, mate. Pleasure having you here. And uh, enjoy your day at work. Oh. Felt like we weren't making much progress, but now I kind of feel like we're racing through this. A decent amount done. Decent amount done. James, five gifted memberships to the channel. Thank you very much, mate. Really appreciate those. Nismo, Eric, Grant, Pro Farmer, and Farmer Bruno picking up those memberships. Thank you very much again, mate. Very, very generous of you. I was actually thinking about Pro Farmer. I haven't seen him, seen him on the server for a bit, wee bit. Figured it out last week. Struggled to remember tonight. Uh, appreciate it, mate. Alright, is anyone going to catch us before we get full? I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, that's Bondemand is racing down to get us, but I don't know if he will. Should we, should we throttle things back down? We slow down enough, then we can keep moving on the unload. It's funny going back to six miles per hour, which is what you'd normally harvest at, feels slow. Oh, oh, he's not going to do it, I don't think. Ooh, 300 litres. 200 litres, 100 litres, no, so close. Alright, we'll gear back up, back where we were, there we go. Back to speed. Filthy windows. Uh, what does it do if it can't find someone in the chat who isn't already a member? Just gives them to a random subscriber of yours. Um, I, th I'm not. Uh, to be honest, James, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I know um, Nismo and Eric Grant have all been definitely been active in chat today. Nismo said he just left. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I honestly don't know. Actually, don't know. Ducking out work calls, have a good day. Same to you, mate. Take care, rest up, take it easy, like I said. Um, get yourself right. And looking forward to seeing this, uh, this video you've got tonight. Looking forward to that. You've been gifted in the past and wasn't watching. There you go. I wonder, I wonder if it's to do with um, recent activity or not. 
Could be. Danish person driving there. Didn't see that coming. So Bondemand and Pro Farmer DK have uh, been two of the real uh, stalwarts of this farm, actually. If there was a way to log hours spent, I'd say they've probably comfortably had the most hours between the two of them on the server. So take a lot of credit for our 10 million litre goal and just about getting there. And in fact, um, just while I think about it, where are we? Yeah. Should be able to see the stats on the FSG bot page. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. What if you can see the like the time? The yeah, I'll have to have a look at that actually. It's a good point, Mark. Um. But just speaking about multiplayer servers, Bondemand has his own server, has his own server set up, um, including hosting it himself, so. And he has about to crank up, or he may have already started it up, or I'm not sure, um, a sort of hardcore multiple farm server. Um, so if anyone's interested in joining and playing on that, jump onto Discord. I'm sure Bondemand would love to have more regular players you could either be a farm owner you could be a farm worker you could just go on and be a sort of i don't know contractor who just floats around between different farms to help out so if you're interested in joining on something like that then jump on to discord exclamation mark discord if you're not already there um and have a look be nice to see him get that up and going i know he's uh he's told, we've chatted a number of times on discord and things like that but He's got um, been involved with other servers doing something similar, so it's cool to have those guys around. It also means that for you know we've got people active in Europe, we've got people who've been active from the States, we've got people from New Zealand and Australia who've been active, which is cool. One demand is like Danish for farmers, and Hansen is a common last. Ah, farmer, farmer Hansen. There we go. That makes sense then. Whereabouts are you? Are you Danish, Nico? Is that your uh, the connection there? Maybe be a good option for you if you wanted to get into the multiplayer servers, joining in with Bondemand. Danish too. Nice. Oh, there we go. forward to try and find some time to get onto the Valley of the Old Farm multiplayer server as well, which would be fun. Got some good servers up and running at the moment. Obviously this one, which is probably, to be honest, getting towards the end of its life. Um, although I was thinking the other day, actually, I might, when it's when we do finish up on this server, sort of move on, I might get the, um, get the save downloaded and make it available to anyone who might want to carry on the farm. Or anything like that. Tell you just call you Hanson, right? See, I can't just call you. I, unless I'm gonna say Hanson, though, I can. All I can think of is Mbop. But it's on yeah. It's always the, always the question, always always the challenge when you're uh, picking up other things and figuring out which names to use. Hey, Mr. Freeman, how you doing, mate? Long time no chat. Coming in with the Argsy rules. Nice to have you here, mate. 11 months. Coming up on a year. Wowzers. Hope you're good, man. Hope you are well. Eric's off. Take care, everyone. Off to play Tears of the Kingdom on the Switch. Nice. I'm looking forward to uh, picking up FS23 next week. Of course, that's only a week away. Um, on the Switch and having that to play when we're flying over to... Um, on our way over to Europe and get some hours into that. 
This should be fun. I've heard good things about that game though. You enjoying it? You're probably gone now. <laughs> Trying to have a conversation with someone who's leaving. You're one of those people who stands and you say goodbye to people at the door when they've been visiting and they're like, slowly start edging closer and closer to the car and you just keep talking to them. That's me. You did, you got a gifted membership. Uh, James's Bike Workshop gifted that one to you, Eric. There you go. You were the lucky recipient. You haven't played any yet today, so it's time now. Well, I'll let you go and enjoy it then. I'll be uh, interested to hear next stream um, how you found it. There we go, we've got auto drive working for us this time. You got the Logitech G923 racing wheel for farming, and I got the side panel all set up and playing to like 3 a.m. yesterday. Nice one, Nico, nice one. Is it the first time you've played with the wheel? Oh, sorry, it's happening the microphone with my ring. It's one thing I really haven't haven't played with as a wheel I've got a um, Thrustmaster T80 floating around that I was using for on my consoles but I've never plugged it into the PC to see well I lie I have had it plugged in once but the um the gearing the way it uses the it's a is it a belt drive with no force feedback it's really really noisy which would be no good for trying to record any content you'd hear the wheel the whole time Nope, never had the side panel. I have got a tablet which I've used some dashboard on a little bit, but pretty much 90% of mine's still PlayStation controller. But yeah, no, it's still PlayStation controller. I've got the joysticks there for when I'm doing excavators or forestry or things like that, David, but um, yeah, that's sitting there and set up, good to go. You had one then broke down so just waiting to get money for a new one. Fair enough, fair enough. You built a console but I run some problem with farm um, some of the configuration like a like your own button box. David, is that what you mean? I've been uh, I've been wanting to do something like that too. I thought that'd be kinda cool. Joystick steering pedal. Ah, cool. Interesting. You've attached a monitor mount to the armrest of your chair. Now I've got the wheel and put the tablet on the mount with some dashboard running. That's a cool setup. I was actually so. I got a monitor mount a month or so ago. It's a triple monitor mount, but I've only got two monitors. And I've got the, the third monitor arms just off to the side. And 
I was going to see if I'm mounting a tablet on that, but because um, I can swing it out, you won't be able to see, but it's pretty much right in my face. Um, but the way the monitor mount works is it pushes the monitor about halfway over my desk, which sucks. I've actually just got a double monitor mount to replace it with. So I have to go back to using a different way to do the dashboard. Put the tablet up. Button box is super simple. Yeah, the ones I've seen are look, look pretty simple too. Ghetto Pirate got a Thrustmaster T500 and a cable tied the PS5 controller to the top of the wheels. The side panel doesn't work on PS5. Does it not work on PS5, Ghetto? I thought it did. Ah. I must have missed that. Well, I thought it was working on PS5. You gave up on some dashboard and now use the 32 button stream deck. That's not a bad way to do it. I haven't set any buttons up on my stream deck to do anything like that with. I've just got the buttons for um buttons for streaming. But I could have done it that way. You just take the spring out of yours, otherwise it lifts up to the full height. Table isn't heavy enough to get ah for the yep. See, mine's just a solid hole in the back and it's got the bracket and three monitors so there's nothing sprung on it but I can imagine it's like my mic arm and springs and things G920 joystick and Xbox controller yeah I've been looking at doing with the Arduino is it Arduino I'm trying to learn how to do that I've seen some pretty cool ones actually on Facebook and sort of people doing custom stuff but Main thing I need to do is actually get a better studio set up. That's my, it's kind of my winter goal, but winter's already just about here, so who knows when we'll get it done. Well, knocking out a whole lot more. So I think once we get this done, it's only the only crops we've actually got planted are cotton, and nothing else needs planting. There's there's no crops we need. You know, back anyone who's joined us since earlier in the stream, we looked at this, but everything, anything we're missing is the cotton. Um, you know, we we're ignoring sugar beets. Don't even know why we've got a thousand liters of them. Um, but we've got yeah, you know, we've got silage, straw, dried corn. I mean, we could could do hay but we're not going to sounds like a great father teenager project well that's the thing the kids would actually benefit from doing it still because it had become their gaming lounge too and it'd be somewhere that they can hang out with their mates and do things so certainly would be of their, of their benefit too we'll see See what happens. I need to put a wall up, build a door, and make the shed a bit more secure than it is rather than before putting thousands of dollars worth of equipment out in it. You need some coding skill, stop because you needed a bigger space. <laughs> I'm sure chat GPT would code it for me, wouldn't it? If you haven't tried Java Sticks at all, you'll probably have to get your own computer before you start attaching more peripherals to your wife's gaming rig. I'd love to be able to say my wife had a gaming rig. Take over and kick me out, yeah, and then I end up back sitting where I am right now with my PC back inside. At least we get our spare bedroom back at the moment. Basically, the spare bedroom's got a PlayStation in and the boys make a mess of the bed every time they go in there. Just kick the pillows and duvet covers and whatever. Not a care in the world. Yes, it'll get really close, but it's not hard. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought it'd be too hard. Well, that was cutting it fine. 269, we were on. 500 litre capacity left in the hopper. Not 
not sure to me it was rig on stream as a winning move. <laughs> uh, very nice steel, very nice. It can, but it's up to you. You can even implement the force feedback. Yeah. There's a limit within the game. Okay. Not something add to, else to add to the long list of things to do. Next question will be, why haven't you done much lately, Argsy? Oh, I've been too busy building somewhere to do it all. Tell you what, we might go pretty close to getting this finished. We're half an hour left. Interesting to see how far we can get through it. So it would have, made, would have made it a whole lot more efficient for Hanson if we were uh, both working in the same spot as well. I mean to run over to the other side of the field all the time, but maybe I'll finish this a couple of passes, this chunk, and then we can go over and work with Steelers. Get it all finished off. Pesky birds all through the crop. Everywhere. Jump back in cab for a bit, eh? Drive along inside. This it's probably the one thing that bugs me. Has anyone noticed the detail in the corn texture? <laughs> how big the corn looks. I mean, even how big the soybeans look there. I realise there's limitations to it, but the corn, I think the corn one's especially big for a kernel of corn. What's that beeping? 50% full. Just put a bit in there, it is. It's out. Let's see if we can get an auto drive tractor coming to us. Tell you what, it's a uh, it looks like it's had almost 200 hours put on, doesn't it? It's pretty filthy in here. Seats immaculate though, very well looked after. Norwegian Farmer 74, greetings from Oslo, Norway. Greetings to you, Norwegian Farmer, welcome along. Pleasure to have you here. Hello from uh, little old New Zealand on completely the other side of the planet. We don't have a grain cart for miles. Auto drive and auto drive there, and Hanson's over there. So it looks like we'll be waiting for a little bit. Which is just fine. We can handle that. Hanson's on the way. Right on time. He's, it looks like he's uh, driving grain carts until they're full and then puts them on auto drive to go and unload. Just kind of clever. Kind of clever.
While we wait, let's go and have a look over here. What's going on with the trucks? This one just about full, is it? Are these on auto drive? No. One dollar wage payment. Oh goodness, how are we going to afford it from our twelve million dollars? What's our potential pro potential income at that one? One hundred and twenty nine million. It'd be enough to buy every field left on the map, wouldn't it? And then some probably. Let's build seventeen. What's that worth? Two million. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen fields. Even if it's two million each, twenty six million. Easy. Easy done. <laughs> Evening, John. How are you, mate? Hope you are all good as well. Everyone's happy and healthy here. This is Arxie's away for the week. Um, a work trip up north. So we're uh, flying solo. Now the grand cart's going to come over here as well instead of going to uh, instead of going to steal. You can't win sometimes. No Discord chat tonight. Are you? No, no, no Discord chat tonight, John. That should be a bit quiet. Just the, just the three of us on the server tonight. The uh, rowdy rabble of Chinook and Bovine are both. Chinook's working in uh, Bovine, I think. Must have an early start. He was in chat a little bit earlier, but. To be honest, I hadn't even thought about jumping into a jumping into voice chat. But no, certainly no bands. No bands going on here. Ah, don't you drive in front of me. The truck I jumped in was set to, uh, nah, what, because auto drive wasn't turned on, Derek. We've, must have been driving those manually. It would have, uh, I don't know if it would actually. I don't know if it would. Because it's not loading out of a trigger. But. but good observation, good observation. That's how I figured out we weren't using auto drive because I saw it was set to sunflowers. That must have been when they were harvesting this field down the bottom here. So what do we end up with with sunflowers actually? I'm intrigued. Look at that, 95,000 litres over. I wonder if they sold some or whether that's exactly how close they were to having the perfect amount for 10 million litres. Because the sunflowers were on that field 15, which got just, was it 4 million? 4.5? Four so 5.5, 6 million off that one. Pretty impressive. Right. You did not make an ear, so there's no auto drive for the truck in the field either. Fair enough. Makes sense. So you go. There's the master at work. He's just seen that on auto drive to go and unload, and he'll probably go and jump on one of the other grain carts now. Looks like that one's managed to find its way over to bovine, so he's hopped in the other one. That's certainly the one thing I have experienced, particularly when I was working on this map on my own, was how long it took auto drive to register, how much downtime there was waiting for grain carts to get to where they needed to be. Definitely, definitely the, the slowest part of it all. And where the biggest bottleneck occurred. <laughs> it's 
Thank you, no, for that. Make the boys laugh at the boss's expense and you get booted. <laughs> yeah, no, you're all good, John. You're still all good. Bender Cat, have a good stream, Argzy. You've got an early start tomorrow. All good. Thank you for joining us, hanging out. Appreciate you uh, staying here for this long. Have a good one at work. We'll catch you again then. Catch you again next time. Same time next week. Won't be a stream on the weekend this weekend because uh, I will be often on the road very, very early Sunday morning. So, in fact, I just realised I should have had this open. And logging like round five is going to come around before we know it. Surprised we're not using one of those large mother bins. We did have a large mother bin at one stage. Um, we did have a large mother bin at one stage, Derek, but those trucks have a... Gosh, that one Kenworth's 91% full and it's got 457,000 litres in it, so I think they've got those configured to 250,000 litres per trailer, so half a million capacity. So they basically do the work of a mother bin anyhow. Right, there we go. Let's go over. We'll finish this pass, and then we'll go over and give Ste um, Steel a hand. We'll run over there. Need to run a bit closer. Oh, I have to fight the yawns been a long day. So my next, here's a question for you all. What should I do? There's some suggestions. I have a birthday coming up. It's in about a month. It's on a Saturday, New Zealand time. What should I do? No milestone, not a milestone birthday, just another run of the mill birthday, but we'll after suggestions on what we could do for a stream or something like that. Smash beers. That's that's a given, but I don't know if I'll be doing that during <laughs> I don't know if I'll be doing that during a stream. Wake up for one. Wake up for a stream. The morning one, John. Sorry, get smashed. We'll save that. We'll do that with FSG in, uh, in the UK. And see where our, and actually funny we'll be able to see where our, the patterns are from bovine's a little excursion won't we now big question is is gps going to work on this how close are we on the lines on this one look through that perfect happy days the vote gets smashed as well james Too old for that sort of carry on. I'll have football on the Saturday morning, so that rules out a Saturday morning stream anyhow, so. Right, 15 minutes, what do you reckon? We can knock these little bits out and leave those. Just have that strip in the middle left to do. Should be pretty close. I haven't actually timed how long it takes to do a pass. It must be about three or four minutes to go from one end to the other. 
bit longer than you think. Yay, farming friends. Always nice having other equipment in the field, isn't it? Should have a smash stream to see who gets the most. <laughs> uh. Yeah, not coming back. Sunday night stream give me time to recover from my birthday drinks on Saturday a Sunday night will be what Saturday morning for lots of people once tried to play falls a while getting drunk didn't go too well <laughs> so, the, so that's what happens on a computer game imagine if you're behind the wheel properly James hey eh? Good to see you doing it in a safe, controlled environment. We should have a, uh, we could have a bail stacking challenge. Every time someone beats me, I have to take a shot. Let's see how long that one lasts. How long do you think it will be before harvesters become autonomous in the real world? Well, it's interesting actually, if you I was watching... Sorry, not my mic, you would have got a loud bang then. Um, oh, got to turn the heater on. I was watching Millennial Farmer, and like his tractor now is auto drive guidance steering but it also auto turns so it does everything at the end row lifts everything up turns whatever on and off turns around gets you back on the next pass all automatically i mean how how impressive is that but that's that's how close we are to fully automated isn't it same as Millennial, that's who I was talking about, Bondemar, Hanson, Millennial Farmer. You'll be so broadly then, Norwegian Farmer. That's the aim, that's the aim. And pick something I'm good at, so, <laughs> so I can try and avoid getting smashed. It's pretty impressive technology. Like even the even the shutoffs and that, but so harvesting won't be too far away, Derek, I don't reckon. Well, Derek's saying we'll have autonomous tractors by twenty thirty, the current ADARs will be backwards compatible. Sweet GPS is persistent. <laughs> Two auto drive unloaders and they parked in front of me in the crop as you turned. Uh, as we talk about the wonders of modern technology. tried farming on Saskatchewan drunk the other day and ended up in the ditch. <laughs> nice one ghetto, nice one.
I think it'd be much easier than so. Well, you'd think so, isn't it? Well, you would think so. It's lower speed, you can geofence everything. Yeah, you'd think it'd be much easier. I suppose there's more that can go wrong mechanically, though, can't there? Can you imagine the number of sensors that have just shut it down. You've seen, seen some of those farming YouTubers struggling with equipment that's all has too many computers and sensors and that uh oh hey brett what's happening mate it's almost your bedtime did you play grand turismo tonight did you do your racing i still need to unlock i think i need to progress that further to unlock the um you're in bed. Is that because we made you stay up too late night? Too late playing Apex last night. I still need to finish off progression through Gran Turismo to unlock the multiplayer, I think. Should try and spend some time doing that. Hey Mr. Goham, how you done dude? You woke up late and I'm still streaming. Still streaming, still going. It's not even my normal finish time yet. Still another 10 minutes. What's happening, mate? Um, there was a question earlier in chat, and I said when DJ joins, we should ask him, what do you know about this Crokin farm that got taken off ModHub? Any word on why? Or should we keep an eye out on farm some news? Farmer 2021, how you doing? I want a good New Zealand map. Do you know of any? It would be nice if it had some steep ground on it. It's the only publicly available New Zealand map that I know is um, Fakari, something like that, which was never properly finished. It was a convert from a 19 map by Smith97, I think. So that's the only one I know of. Early for tomorrow. <laughs> Need to finish your license test and do more. Adam did it all tonight. Now if he did it all tonight, then I'll be able to do it. No pedestrians with hoodie and earphones or grannies driving the Honda Jazz to worry about in the fields. No, you're right, Peter. Ah, uh, Derek, you're right. No idea. The person I know that does mod have isn't there this week, so I have to ask again next week. Fair enough. I just, it's funny actually, I've seen a few people, someone, I think Mrs. Some Gamer actually asked in chat earlier. I said when DJ's here, we'll ask him. I'm excited for the uh, in person bale stacking challenge though. Hey, in a proper Deutz Far, you reckon we can make that work at FarmCon? I got all excited when they uh, put out their news on having the options to drive real equipment. It'll be proper fun. still amazes me, the thing that amazes me most with mods is that there's all these people out there working on maps and things like that, that they just do their own thing and then they'll just pop up a mod hub or whatever. How close are you to full? 98%. Coming in Friday or Saturday? We're going, well I don't know yet because I don't think FSG's booked his flights from Edinburgh but I think the plan's to get there on Friday. We booked, well, our hotel's booked Friday, so we'll definitely try and turn up on Friday. But it'll just depend on flights and timing and things. I'm going to walk around the factory should be good. That would be interesting too, Peter. Farmer 21, what do you think the next DLC will be? We talked about this last time, and I'm now trying to remember what their clue was for it. Um, I, don't, I honestly, I honestly have no idea. Um, if I go back to the year two season pass. The image was pack two machines to rule the mountains. I mean, it, it screams forestry. Machines to rule the mountains. Unless they were going to do something like 
I'm just looking at the image. I'm just looking at the flowers I've got in front of the mountain. Yeah, mountain with grass and flowers in front of it. The only thing, other, the only thing I could think of other than doing, um, other than forestry equipment would be like side hill combines or something like that. But that's hills, not mountains. Anyhow, who knows? We'll find out. UNFC will land Thursday midday, so we'll see you when you get here. Yeah, for sure, mate. I'm, I'm starting to get real pumped about it. I booked flights today to get from London to Edinburgh, so that's that next step done. That'll be, nah, be good fun. Now I'm a good steal. I'm only halfway. Thanks for coming and saying hello, Brett. Sleep well, my friend. You've actually got four minutes till bedtime. It's not 11 o'clock yet. But we will catch you... Catch you again soon. Say hi to Roxanne for me. Yeah, I think we figured out it was Sunday was six weeks, so we're down to five and a half weeks. Not that I'm counting. I'm not counting days yet. When we get into June, then I'll count days because it'll be easy to figure out. But it'll be good. Oh, I got a um, I got a I got a fluffy, fluffy microphone and a holder and tripod and things for my phone. So I need I need to test that out too. But. <laughs> hey, rocks. You know you haven't been in chat with us actually for a while, rocks. You need to you need to pop in and say hello next time we're playing. So we don't have to listen to your husband all the time. You terraform and tunnel machines, perhaps. I don't think they're gonna to be honest, Norwegian farmer, I don't think they're gonna divert away from too far from the core farming side of things. You have a full laptop set up, yeah man, awesome. But it's Apple though, eh? <laughs> Apple and Argsy don't go together. be good we'll sort something out it'll be fun it'll be fun i'll be having too much fun to worry about making videos i'll come back with a whole hours and hours of footage that i'll then have to trawl through put something together you don't want to listen to me the rocks fair enough ah gaming laptops windows you just use the mac for editing here we go i should be good i'll have mine with me too bring mine with Even on the go, you use a two PC setup. <laughs> Brag about it. <laughs> now, you're the one doing it full time. I can. This is just a hobby. Oh well rocks, we're just about finished anyhow. We'll try and do the last little bit here and wrap it up. Even though it's so close to being finished. Ollie Blogs went around the Western Trailers Factory the other day, that was interesting. Ah. Where's that one, Peter? Ollie Bloggs, he's, is he UK based? I'm going to have to have a look. I saw something else he'd done. Someone shared something else he'd done the other day. Anyhow, Dazed, I, did I say hello to you? Hello, Dazed, how are you? <laughs> if I missed you and missed, I saw you pop in, I missed saying hello. Anyhow, how you doing, dude? How you doing? Oh, DJ, thanks, man. Coming from you, appreciate it. <laughs> Get out of here, Hanson. AI has, AI has arrived. 
not pushing for the last few rounds I'm, I'm holding back the yawns as it is dazed would have thought you'd have 18 wheeler studio DJ. <laughs> uh, okay do you watch I don't know if you follow do you follow the everyday astronaut at all DJ Tim Dodd the everyday astronaut he set up a mobile broadcast um, broadcast studio called Luna in an old was it an old FedEx van or something like that oh it is amazing he does um he, he follows a lot of the rocket stuff like spacex and nasa and rocket launches and that he does some cool stuff but yeah his his mobile um mobile studio like he's got a cameras in that that they can put up on a mast and track rockets from it's pretty cool Just home from your last presentation, so I'm wanting days. Nice. Ali Blogs is the UK. I thought I was right. Not too from Tom not too far from Tom Bemberton. He's about twenty minutes from you, Peter, and Tom Bemberton is forty minutes away. Oh it's it's amazing. The assets, the cameras and the, the setup these guys who go and chase rocket launches and that is just mind blowingly ridiculous but then you see them leaving 4k cameras out sitting out to watch a rocket launch that then get destroyed by debris i mean it's just stupid pretty cool though pretty cool stuff and some incredible incredible shots all right i'll just turn that off because we're getting close to this power pylon which is going to be in our way Sounds like a CIA van being in an old FedEx truck. I don't remember this fit. I'm sure it was it was something like that. It could have been even like an old I don't know. Don't know what it was. It was an old truck of some description, like a box van courier delivery truck. It was pretty cool though. So how did the presentation go? Anyhow, dazed. Go well, I hope. We were, we were, what were we talking about? It was last week, last stream you were talking about it, weren't you? Was it on the week? Might have been, was it on the weekend you were talking about it? During the quiz. Serious Man in Black with DJ and Farmer Cop in a studio van. Could you imagine it? I remember one of those movies with the guys sitting in the van listening and then the um and the bad guys go and crash the van Knocked it out of the park yesterday. Today went well, but it wasn't perfect. A few hiccups, but got plenty of people coming up after the conference interested, so it should be okay. Nice, mate. Good on you. <laughs> hey, Rusty Money Gaming. How on earth are you, mate? Good to see you. Welcome along. Breakfast time. What's for breakfast, Mr. Rusty Money? Nice to see you, man. We've located the perp, get him, FSG gets hit in the end with a sandwich. <laughs> Wasting good food on FSG. DJ, what are you talking about? Can you imagine though. Uh, right. Well, there we are, I think. We might go and unload. We might go and unload and uh, leave this here for. I know Hanson will finish this up, like he said. Ollie's driving a class combo from one end of the country to the other for charity. Oh, that's cool. Nice job. 
Has he featured on Tom? Have I seen him on Tom Pemberton's stuff? Does he do stuff with Tom? I can't remember. Is it a clean sandwich? You know it won't be, Mike. You know it won't be. Peanut butter toast. Nice. Doing good. Good man. Good man. I see you're... Uh, in fact, you know what? We're going to take this truck and unload it. But I see you are on uh, After Hours Parts phone, eh? How are you enjoying that? How's the job going? Are you enjoying it? Please tell me that's a save. I don't want to crash into a truck. There we go. What was the save? Tom got his JCB to cut his grass. Okay. I thought there was. A, I thought there might have been a connection somehow. Peter's everywhere. <laughs> Peter is everywhere. Grain cart's completely confused because I've gone and parked in the wrong spot for it. Can't get to the auger. It's like there's a truck in the way. What's going on? Second week with the after hours parts phone. Yes, it's going great. Loving the nights at home finally after 20 years. Awesome, mate. Oh, doesn't it make it all worthwhile? Yeah, might have been a bit of a nervy time making a big change in your career at this time, particularly after something you've done and loved for so long. But, uh, isn't it rewarding when you realise that making that change has given you a better quality of life and things like that. That's pretty cool. Right, turn that off. We'll leave that there. So let's set up on the right line. Get sprayed with chaff. And uh, let's go and put this load of beans in the bin. You only watch decent weather. Thank you, Peter. Look at those shiny tarps. That's bling. That's proper, proper bling. Oh, sneaking through the back door. We've got stadium lights in here. Look at, the, look at those light, that light pole. running a proper sports event. Alright, is there any, are these, oh, I'm going to crash, are these single hoppers, dual hoppers, dual hoppers. Alright, what's the soybeans up to? 11 million litres. Well, hopefully, hopefully this time next week we will uh, be pretty close to being finished and getting our cotton done. That's all we've got left. So we just need the time to go forward to be able to harvest those few fields of cotton. Like I said earlier, just have a look there. We've got field three, field six, field thirteen, and field eighteen all have cotton in them. Um, so I think we got our field four, which is cotton, is where we got the majority of us. I think we had two a million litres already, so we must have got two million litres off that. So let's say we need six, we need three fields of field four size. Well, field three is definitely going to give us two million. I reckon easy, easy, easy get it all done. Miss me later tomorrow, but I'm probably starting the server at the end of this week to set up and give people an opportunity to set up before starting. So, yeah, mate, sounds good. Sounds good. Sell parts anywhere from Case, Grasshopper, Vermeer, Paladin, Bobcat, and more. How cool is it? All these brands and that that you've played with in game, though. And, you know, you're now dealing with them in real life. Someone says a Paladin. What do Paladin do? They do attachments and that for Bobcats and Skid Steers, don't they? A Vermeer Baylor, huh? Yep, yep, used one of those. What do you mean you've used one of those? But you're a cop. Yeah, I was running it down in Griffin in Indiana. It's pretty cool. Alright. 
Last one. Yeah, we better grab a better grab a screenshot too, Ensign. It's a good idea. Can't see where you all are though, because I can't zoom out far enough. Maybe over where we the trucks are parked. That's frustrating because we don't have the additional settings mod. Do we? I don't think we do. No. I hate the camera clipping. <laughs> I forget about it because it's the one, just about the first mod I install in most game saves. Alright, there we go. It's empty. Nice being able to whip straight back out here into the field. I mean, pretty neat. <laughs> Bet you it has. I'm bigger than you. There's Texas, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Aussie Chainsaw Massacre going on up here. Right, we were going to do the screenshot then. This is as good a place as any, isn't it? Bit in the background. How's that? That looks alright, eh? Happy days. Get the green card in the nah. The green card. There we go. Green card, combine, tractor, and a couple of hard workers. Sounds good, dazed. We'll uh, we'll chat to you again soon, mate. Give us a yell, and uh, yeah, we'll see about getting something sorted. Looking forward to it. Should be fun. Right. Well, uh, that is going to do it for me. We have got through the vast vast majority of the field as much as i'd love to stay and finish that off there's probably still half an hour or so of work in there um and i'm really starting to need to go to bed so we are gonna call it quits uh thanks mark appreciate it mate we'll catch you again soon uh just about to say no stream on sunday i am going to be on the road and heading out of town for the day for uh Suns football tournament so no stream on Sunday so we'll be back again at this stage the next stream will be Wednesday night this time next week um, otherwise keep an eye out there'll be videos and whatnot coming out as and when I can get them done so we will get those flying through um, you have a good one too DJ thank you James thanks for the gift of memberships earlier in the evening Yaron good to have you here Mrs Sim nice to see you as well Marius good night to you Cheers, Mike. Rusty, great to catch you all briefly. Have a uh, have a good day. Enjoy your day at work, and we'll catch up again soon. John, Peter, thank you all very much. Um, but yeah, that's me. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day, your Wednesday. Um, have a good week doing whatever it is you're doing, and as I get run over, we'll catch you all again very soon. All right. See you later. Bye.